Something that is going insanely viral on the internet are deep fakes. Recently, Alia Bhatt was the newest victim. सिर्फ आलिया भट्ट ही नहीं बहुत सारे एक्ट्रेसेस के डीप फेक बनाए जा रहे हैं अभी रिसेंटली रश्मिका मंदाना वीडियो वॉज ऑल्सो डूइंग राउंड ऑन द इंटरनेट ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम अलॉट ऑफ एक्ट्रेस केम फॉरवर्ड एंड टॉक अबाउट हाउ डेंजरस ए आई इज बिकमिंग नॉट जस्ट फिल्म स्टार्स बट प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी वॉज ऑल्सो सब्जेक्टेड टू अ डीप फेक यू कैन सी दिस वीडियो ऑफ हिम प्लेंग गरबा मैंने अभी एक वीडियो देखा जिसमें मैं गरबे गा रहा हूँ और मैं खुद भी देख रहा क्या बढ़िया बढ़ा है अब आपको इतनी सारी वीडियोस देख के समझ तो आ ही गया होगा कि डीप फिक्स आर अ रियल थिंग एंड इट इज गोइंग टू चेंज आर लाइफ गोइंग फॉरवर्ड बट एक्चुअल में डीप फिक है क्या डीप फिक एक ऐसी टेक्नोलॉजी है जो इजीली आपकी इमेजेस या वीडियोस को मैनिकुलेट कर सकती है नाउ यू कैन सी मी चेंजिंग इन मल्टीपल पर्सनैलिटी फ्रॉम आले भट्ट टू स्मृति अरानी आई कैन चेंज इन एनी वन आई वॉन्ट टू Now I'm not just talking about the face over here. Tumhare voice, tumhara accent sab change ho sakta hai. And this is generated through all the data which is available on the internet. So the more the data, the more accurate the image is going to be. Isliye to public figures ka deep fake banana bahut hi easy hai. President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. Yes, that was a deep fake. Even this video of Mark Zuckerberg. One man with total control of billions of people's stolen data, all their secrets, their lives, their futures now you get to my point with 2024 elections coming up deep fakes are going to be used widely positively it can be used to create one video in different languages so that it can reach masses malaria isn't just any disease wa ma zala taqtul tiflan kull daqiqatayn and at the same time negatively it can be used to spread a lot of misinformation which is very likely in a political case if you think only celebrities or public figures are at a risk over here then you're wrong Obviously, largely wahi risk pe hain, but people like you and I, we are also at a risk over here. Deep fake can make women more vulnerable to online harassment such as blackmailing, revenge porn, etc. This is what it looks like to see yourself naked against your will being spread all over the internet. You know the funny part is that deep fake is not just limited to say videos or images for that matter. It also uses AI-generated voice to execute financial scams. According to McFee's report on AI voice scams. 47% of adult Indians either have been victims to or have known someone who has been a victim to financial scams and all of this is so easy kyunki hum logo ka na digital footprint bahut zyada hai isliye scammers ko ye sab kuch access karne mein bahut mehnat nahi karni padti hai now to keep this in check there have been certain tools that have been developed in november 2022 intel released a cloud based tool called fake capture which claimed that it can detect fake videos 96% of the time So basically, to crack AI, you need AI only. But there have been so many tools that are a work in progress. But for a foolproof approach, it will take some time. While that's happening, there are some provisions under IT Law Act 2021 which do provide us some relief. Section 66E of the IT Act prescribes punishment for publishing or creating videos of someone without their consent. It even asks social media intermediaries such as Facebook or Instagram to remove any such content which has been reported within the 36 hours of reporting. You should also file a relevant FIR with the nearest police station. So what do you guys think about this era of deep fakes? Do let me know in the comments below. This is Kunjit signing off. Keep watching Autoply for more such content.